I've decided to go ahead and install a three quarter inch drain. For me, in one of my previous videos, I put holes in the drain that's inside the cooler. But to me, this ain't fast enough. This is not draining fast enough. This is a 3 8 hole. And it's like watching grass grow, especially when you're trying to drain it in time to go. Uh, since this is a live well, it's deemed as a live well, I'm going to treat it like a live well. I didn't want to punch a hole through the cooler and install these parts, but I guess it's the best for me to do. It'll work for me. I already done drilled the hole, fixing to put all these parts together, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. Okay? This trainer right here, I got this from Academy. These parts you can get from any hardware store. So, uh, this one here, keep in mind, you will be cutting this one to length. So you can adjust for the depth on the backside where it's going to drain out. So we'll see how it comes out. Thanks. Alright, for the first piece, I did not thread this all the way on. I snugged it up, backed it up two full turns so that it would give me enough to tighten it up once I get it through the wall of the cooler. Now for measuring from outside to outside of that cooler, it's two and three quarters. So again, you're going to have to trim this. That way when you glue it to the 90, you get ready to tighten this side up, it'll snug up tight. Okay. So again, from wall to wall, outside to outside, is two and three quarters. Okay, so don't tighten this one all the way up. Tighten it up, then back it up two full turns so that way you have enough room so when you tighten it, it'll seal properly. All right, so this piece right here has to be four inches long from end to end. Now again, keep in mind, this part here, the strainer, it was tightened and backed up two full turns. So it should give you enough room from here to here to snug it up and make a good seal. It's 90, it's a socket weld by threaded. It's 90. All right, already got the other uh, strainer put on. And you can see it looks pretty good on the back side. Just to show you. As you can see, you got plenty of room for the seal. I didn't glue nothing together just yet. I still got the little rubber rings to put on and so forth. Just to make sure this bad boy seals and I ain't getting no water inside the cooler. But that's a pretty good size hole for the drain. Glue that back and then I'm gonna cut me a piece that's gonna go right here. That'll be the drain back to the bottom of the ski. Other than that, it'll be just about done. So uh, I'll show you the finished product so I get ready to glue it all together. If you look back there, you can see the, uh, the little rubber ring. This is the back part of it. You also see the rubber ring. So once I tighten it up on the inside, it'll compress and seal. Which I think that's going to work just fine. But at least I have a three quarter inch drain now instead of a three eighths. It's a live well, so I'm going to treat it like one. Right, Maggie? Yes, my girl. Alright. So, all I got left to do now is just take it back apart and go ahead and paint it all right i just got done installing this three quarter inch drain with the screen on the front of it and the reason why i did that was to help control the amount of water that goes in here now if you think about it the pump on that jet ski that feeds this live well it's got some volume to it i don't know the specs on it but i can tell you that even though you open up this cap up here at the top which is supposed to help regulate the water going in and coming out, that ain't gonna work. All right. Uh, by the time you know it, that water's already filled up coming out of the top of the cooler. Now I did drill a hole down here at the bottom 
that was just to help me drain this cooler when I'm ready to go home. I'm offshore fishing. This cooler's full of water. It's time to go. And I've had some individuals say some smart ass remarks. Why don't you wait till you get back to the boat ramp and, and empty it out? And let me tell you for those that keep thinking that same idea, this is not a boat. This is not a boat. It's a jet ski. It doesn't act the same when it's full of water on the back of the jet ski. It gets real squirrely. I don't like the way it feels. When it's time to go home, it's time to go. So if you look right here, I did drill a hole in the side. And again, that was to help regulate the amount of water that comes in here, but it doesn't matter how big of a hole you put, because when that water comes out, it's coming out of a 3 8 hose. It just ain't fast enough. So that's the reason why I installed that strainer. Okay. That is to help control the water as it's coming in and coming out. Of course, you can look at the back side. That's how it looks. You see the little ring there to seal it? Looks good, I like it. That's a three quarter inch hose right there. That's plenty of amount for water to get in there and come on out. Uh, you have any questions? Feel free to ask. Thank you.